everybody, Wayne here. In today's Let's Chat, I wanted to take a look at a Kickstarter to watch. Um, I'm talking about Spruance Leader from DVG. So let's go ahead and pull her up here on the screen. There you go, you guys can look at that instead of me. So Spruance Leader, obviously uh, another game in the Leader series from DVG. You know, some of the best solitaire war games out there. Not for everyone, of course, but I'm a huge fan. A lot of you guys are fans, so we're definitely we're definitely going to check this out. So designed by Dean Brown. I know he's done a lot of stuff for DVG over the years. Spruance Leader, a solitaire Cold War era naval task force game. So in this one, you're not just going to be playing as, say, the Spruance class destroyer. You're actually going to be doing more of playing as the task force. It's using that as, you know, kind of a... Um, What's the what's the term the you know like time appropriate, era appropriate, um, destroyer class whatever. So first day stretch goal unlocked. Oh, and before we get started here, a couple things. Uh, we are at was it twelve days to go, and sixty four thousand. So it's definitely I mean it's funded. Uh, DVG's project's always fun. Let's be honest. So it's it's going to be funded. It's going to be produced. That's I have no doubt about that at all. But looking at it, I'm definitely intrigued. So. When it was just, I was thinking it would be just like the destroyer. I was like, okay, interesting. I wonder how that works. But like I said, it's actually going to be the task force. So let's see here. Let's look at this. Let's watch a little intro video here. From the designer of B-17 Flying Fortress Leader, Spruance That's Leader the one he offers did. you the opportunity to command. So I knew he had, I was like, I think Dean Brown had designed another one, B-17 Flying Fortress Leader, which is one of the better leader games for sure. One of the more complicated ones. And that's what I'm expecting you're going to get with this, right? This isn't going to be a super simple one. It's going to be a little higher of the, on the complexity scale the for... The forces against the Soviet Navy during the height of the Cold War. And we're not going to watch this whole video, but a little glimpse of the stuff here. So you have, you know, and we'll look at these closer in the Kickstarter. I think there's pictures, but enemy sub, there's the bear... Russian bomber. Okay, a little harder. So you can watch this video yourself on the Kickstarter. I'll have the link, um, link posted on the video, of course, to the uh, actual Kickstarter itself here. But scrolling through, so unlock the uh, mono map, of course. Generally, always do that. Choose which ships and commander you want in your task force. Place them in one of three positions in the task force: screening force, main force, protected force. Purchase ordnance and head towards the target. So common um, leader series stuff, campaigns, mission planning, stress management, different skill levels, random events, tactical encounters. But here you can see, you know, I can't really zoom in, but you can see the, uh, you know, enemy subs here, enemy ship coming in, and then you see your screening force, main force, etc. Draft rule book. We're not going to look at that right now. North Atlantic skirmishes, Cold War, 1988. Enemy anti-submarine warfare forces, enemy wolf pack. Okay, so here you go. So core ship types. You see the Spruance class destroyer is just one of a bunch of different types. Cruisers, destroyers, frigates. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, country campaign sheets of the usual. Expansion for bring carriers into the game. Expansion for uh yep, so bringing in um, subs. Let's see. Allies expansion regular other add-ons so here we go here's a stretch goal so unlocks we got the uh, specialized training for your crew iowa class battleships Ooh, iowa class battleships very cool allied ships enter the war sensor perform only set of cars and rules to simulate air and sea conditions okay uh sink the karav mission okay and then the next one 70k stretch goal save the fleet mission sheet okay yep I mean, it looks interesting. So obviously, bigger scale. We're talking than a regular leader game where you just maybe you know have a couple pilots or you know a couple aircraft or whatever. Very interesting. Um, one little comment you want to make. So the game is funded. It's been out for a little while. I don't know when it exactly launched, but twelve more days ago, as of filming this, um, this video is going to go probably a couple days after being filmed. So it's probably be closer to ten days left. But it's interesting. There's been no update since then. Like usually, they update and say, "Hey." Game is funded. Hey, unlock and stretch goal. You know, most people do that, and including DVG, they do that in their past projects. So I'm not sure why they haven't done anything. So there's some comments. Some people are a little like, hey, you guys there? Which I'm sure they are. I've seen Dean Brown, 
the designer posting here he is. Yep. So the designer's active. Again, it's DVG. They're not going anywhere. You're you're gonna be able to back it. If you if it interests you, you're gonna be able to back it. You'll be fine, even if they're not updating. It's just a little a little interesting to me that there's no updates on it. Um, but other than that, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So and I know I usually get a couple comments, so just because you guys are curious and I don't blame you, um, over here. I have Rome Incorporated set up, um, featured games coming. I got an unboxing already filmed, of course. Um, so that'll be coming soon ish. And then over here, I'm playing Warfighter Tactical, Warfighter Modern. Um, I don't think I'm doing any videos on that. There's just so many good videos out there already. I don't, and I don't know the system well enough. I mean, I, I play it a bunch, so I know, I know it, but I'm not an expert on it. And, you know, it, there's some complexities to it. It's not complex, but there's definitely some little chrome and stuff to it that. I still want to be on camera messing up too much. And then you guys are like, what the heck? Don't you know how to play this game? But it's one that I enjoy playing um, on my own. So anyway, that's my little tangent there. But I know you guys always ask about it whenever you guys see games set up. Like, oh, what are those? So anyway, um, Spruance Leader from DVG. Check it out. I'll have the links in the video below. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick little let's chat and take a look at it. You know, not super in-depth, but just want to put a little spotlight on it. Um, I know we got a lot of Solitaire Wargamer fans here and that are subscribed to my channel. So I think it's a game that you'd probably be interested at least in checking out. So, all right, until next time, guys, later.